Hi and welcome to the channel. And in this video, Northern Ireland registration numbers, how do they work? So in this video, I want to answer a question which I've been asked by one of my subscribers, and that's to explain how the Northern Ireland registration numbering system works. So I have a selection of registration plates here of cars that I own or of old numbers that I've had. Um, and as well, I made a few notes. So I'm gonna refer a few notes on, on this as well as there's quite a bit of information to get through. I don't want to miss anything out. So yeah, so basically how does the Northern Ireland registration system work? So essentially in 1903, um, a registration system was brought out in the UK to identify individual uh, cars being registered, or vehicles being registered. And Northern Ireland's was a modified version of that. So like the UK or like the GB, all counties on areas were given a two letter um, identifier. And this was then preceded or followed depending on the year um, with a series of numbers of from one to 9,999 and then a new, a new uh, lettering system would come out and so on. So at the time, all of Ireland was part of the UK. And um, so there were two letters were set aside specifically for Ireland. So that was the I and Z. So these, these letters were not used in the rest of the UK as identifiers for their area. These were specific to Ireland. So first of all, the I system would be used and then this was followed then by a Z system, Z series. So um, by the time that the, the Z series came into, into effect, the Free Irish Free State had been formed. That was in 1921. So it was then decided that AZ to YZ would be used in Northern Ireland with ZA to ZZ being reserved for the Irish Free State. So that system continued in the Irish Free State until the formation of the Republic of Ireland when they went, went their own way with their own identifying system. So for, for this video, I'll look specifically for the Northern Ireland uh, system. So, like I said, in line with GB, uh, every county ran from, or every, every code, sorry, ran from 1 to 9999. So on this system, KRZ2206, RZ is the area identifier, so that's the area for County Antrim. K is a letter in the series with the 2206 being the vehicle's identif identification number. So when the numbering system reached 9999, it then reverted to a different lettering system. So if we use County Armagh as an example, the Armagh identifier is IJ. So by the night reached IJ9999, it then reverted back to, to number one and it was LZ1 and then up to 9999 which by the time we reached that, it then became XZ and the system worked again. So initially the system was a prefix. So you had letters and then numbers as an example of this plate. So VZ2932 is a prefix plate. Then this was then replaced with a suffix plate where you had the numbers first and then the letters. And then this was then replaced by the current system of three letters and then a series of numbers following on to that. It is likely then when this current system is changed that it may revert back to numbers and then letters. So it's becoming a prefix, a suffix again. This current format also enabled um, a greater number of vehicles to be registered uh, as it gave much more of a scope as you're starting with a, in this case, K, K or Z, we start A or Z, B or Z, C or Z and so on, which gave a much greater scope. So. As I said, initially the numbers ran from 1 to 9999. But from November 1985, the uh, first 100 numbers, so 1 to 100, uh, they were withheld by the licensing agency as these could be purchased as, you know, as a form of cherished number plates and so on. So this, this is the stage where cherished uh, number plates were becoming um, a, a market, um, especially in the mainland UK which uses a different system, which uses an age system that you can easily identify the age of the car by the plate that it's wearing. So a lot of uh, Northern Ireland numbers would find their way uh, legally uh, transferred onto vehicles 
in the rest of the UK. Following on from that then, so these numbers were then 101 to 9999. Following on from that then, however, in April 1989, numbers 101 to 999 were also withheld in for the cherished uh, numbering syst uh, system and, and market, as were multiples of 1,000, so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, so on, and groups of four. So if you have all the ones, all twos, all threes, and so on, again, these were all kept for the cherished number market. So an example of this would be this bit, BXI4444. This is a number which is a 1983 number. It's a Belfast registration number. So these fours were issued initially on the vehicle when it was registered new before the, the numbers were withheld. So this was a number with, of a car that I had uh, and I've kept the number for myself and I've transferred it onto a number of cars over the years. So how the numbering system changed over the years. If we take County Armagh, for example, of where we are living here at the minute, the prefix IB, I'm going to read from the book here as some of these dates are quite, uh, quite hard to remember. The prefix IB ran from December 1903 to August 1947. By this stage, uh, the numbering system was starting to run out. So the registration number LZ was brought out into place. This was from January 1947 until November 1957. This was then replaced by XZ series from November 1957 until April 1962. So that would have been a plate similar to this where the letters went first followed by the numbers. Then in April 1962, the suffix plate came into effect. So that would be similar to this plate where the numbers ran first followed by the letters. IB was used from April 1962 until November 1965, then replaced by LZ in November 1965 until March 1969. And this was then replaced by XZ from March 1969 until March 1972. This was then replaced by the current system of three letters and numbers using AIB in 1972. This ran up until YIB in November 1996. This was then replaced by ALZ in November 1996 and this ran on until YLZ in May 2010, which was then replaced by AXZ in May 2010, and this has been continuing through B, C, D, X, Z, and so on until to as it is at the minute. It is then likely that following the completion of the becoming XXZ9998, the next the next the number in the series will most likely be four numbers followed by the three letters. Similarly to Great Britain, Northern Ireland runs a Q plate for vehicles of an on undetermined age or a vehicle where you can't pinpoint an age of and also for kit cars and very heavily modified cars. So the Q is a representation of a car that they don't know the year for or it's impossible to give a year for. In the in the rest of mainland it is Q, a series of numbers and letters. Here in Northern Ireland we use QNI, Q Northern Ireland. And this number is, is linked specifically for, as I'm saying, vehicles of which you can't tell the name of. And these are also completely non-transferable. So as of any of these numbers, these can be on vehicles, can be transferred from vehicle to vehicle uh, legally, if you're paying a, a transfer fee to the licensing agency, and this can all be done uh, legally. However, the Q plates, and in some cases you may have cars with a non-transferable uh, plate and this can, uh, that stays with that vehicle for its life. Um, other uh, oddities maybe with the Northern Ireland system is there is a Northern Ireland registration number which is used specifically for London transport. It is the LTZ uh, registration system. Um, so it's LTZ at the start with numbers 1 to 9999. And these are, as I said, specifically for London transport. So if you're in London and you see the new double-decker Routemaster style buses, they all generally will have an LTZ registration number. As those are buses built here in Northern Ireland, uh, those were Wright buses, but there's other uh, uh, manufacturers over here as well. But any vehicle which is built here in Northern Ireland ends up in London as part of the London transport is given the LTZ. 
Similarly to the rest of Europe where they have the blue flash down the left hand side of the number plate. I don't have any here but there would be a blue flash on the left hand side of the number plate with the European flag and a nationality plate. Here obviously in the UK we use GB. Um, these were permitted uh, for use while Britain was in the uh, European Union. Now since Brexit these have now been, uh, these are no longer available to purchase um, and I'm not sure if they're going to be made illegal or not but to use on your vehicle but they are no longer available for purchase. Um, so the European flag has now been um, done away with so if anybody in Northern Ireland or elsewhere in the UK are driving on the continent or, or overseas then uh, a standardized nationality plate needs to be needs to be fitted to the car in addition uh, it's a new plate which is now uh, been put into place is known as the green plate so for all vehicles of zero emission uh, so electric cars um, they must have a green flash similarly to the European uh, ones they have a green flash down the left hand side of the plate and that signifies that vehicle is a zero emission car as you've noticed here, though, we have a collection of colours of plates, white and, and, uh, and yellow. For those who are, aren't in the UK, uh, vehicles after um, a certain year must have white plates to the front, yellow plates to the rear. So any vehicle older than 40 years old is permitted to have a black plate, so similar to this, where they can have a black background with either silver or white lettering. So this is permitted on any vehicle over 40 years old, which has been registered registered as a historic vehicle taxation uh, code. So like so, my Cooper S Traveller, it's 1964, it's older than 40 years old. It is permitted to have black registration number plates. Um, the other cars in the fleet are all far too young. They're only uh, five, six years old. They must have a white plate to the front and a yellow plate to the rear. So maybe just lastly, as I said I have a collection of plates here, um, just give you an idea of just how the coding works. So if we take this first one here, this is VZ. So this registration number is a County Tyrone registration number. It's a very early registration number from County Tyrone. Um, as just, as I mentioned earlier, it is a prefix plate. Then we go on to JI. This is actually the registration number of the Cooper S Traveller. Uh, this is a 1964 number from County Tyrone. Followed by IJ. This is a number I've had in quite a few minis uh, and it's actually currently on my daily driver with a uh, white and yellow. So IJ is a County Down registration number. This is a, incidentally, is a 1959 registration number. Uh, I actually got this number off a uh, 1959 Austin A35 um, initially, um, so I was able to do a cherished transfer off. Another one of my daily drivers, XI, so BXI, XI is a Belfast registration number. As I mentioned before, it has the multiple of four, which was standard fit to that car at the time. Um, so this wasn't one of the held numbers. Um, and B is quite an early one in the system. This is a 1983 registration number. KRZ, um, it's a registration number which I no longer have on a car. I actually have done a cherish transfer to replace this registration number. RZ is County Antrim. Um, K is a, a, is a mid-aged uh, mid number. Uh, this is off a 2015 car. And lastly, CIL. IL is County Fermanagh. Again, C is fairly early in the series. Um, and the 131. 1331 again it's a nice number and um, that was uh, that was the original number of a, of a car that is a uh, mini um, Clubman 1100 so basically that's a very very quick uh, rundown through the Northern Ireland registration system I'm sure I've missed something out um, I did try to refer to my notes as much as possible there and I'm sure I've missed um, missed some points but um, yeah, I hope that was informative. Um, it may not be of interest to everybody who's watching out there. Um, if you have liked it, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe before you go. Um, I may not do any more videos like this uh, in the come through. Maybe some informative uh, videos, but we'll be back to 
uh, to cars uh, in the future videos uh, coming up very soon so yeah please remember to subscribe and yeah please leave a comment in the uh, comment section below uh, as well and i'll try to answer every question as much as i can so again thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video